All right, so if you're watching this video, I'm assuming either you're thinking about retirement, you've just retired, or you don't know what the heck you got going on. Either way, you're in the right place. Now, let me be clear. I'm not going to get all technical and start giving you the definition of the word retirement because I think it means something differently to everyone. As a matter of fact, it's exactly the reason why I wanted to create this video. You see, as a young retiree myself, there's some things that I had to become acclimated to that I just, let's be completely honest, was not prepared for. Now, first and foremost, my situation is totally different than a lot of other people. I went through a situation where I got injured, doing my job and was no longer able to physically do the things that are required to be able to do that job. So in my case, my retirement came all of a sudden. It wasn't anything that I had prepared for, whether it was financially, psychologically, or any of those things. And I say psychologically because that's the part that a lot of people look over. That's the part that a lot of people don't take in consideration. See, the average person, when they think about retirement, they either visualize themselves as being older, right? kid-free, empty nesters, all of these different terms that you've heard a bunch of different times. And then what happens is, is you actually retire. And you start to look around and you start saying things to yourself like, what am I going to do now to either occupy my time, occupy my, my mind and stay spry and don't let myself just kind of sit around and rust away. This is the point that I want to bring up to you today, that retirement, is going to look differently when it actually takes place versus what you imagine it to be. The objective is to create that idea of what your retirement looks like in the present time. This is going to help you with your transition. Once again, this applies to the person who's considering retirement, you know I me, mean, light years away, or the person who has just recently retired and trying to figure it all out. Now, of course, you know, you're going to get your fishing poles and all that stuff together. That's great. You should have all of those things. And guess what? You earned it. But at the end of the day, you always have to remember that because life didn't retire because you retired from your job, you have to consistently keep moving forward. Now, the best way to do that, in my opinion, is developing retirement practices even before your last day. How do you do that? You know, we have to go through this transitional mindset of thinking that we always have to have emergency funds and things that may come up and just happen funds and all these things, but we always back burner, if we consider it at all, the things that we're going to need just to live daily. Get accustomed to getting paid every two weeks, weekly, whatever it is, all the way down to now you get paid one time a month and you have to become all of a sudden a certified CPA to understand how to balance your finances and do all of these things. If you wait to become retired, you become a student of those things, you're putting yourself in a very, you know, tough and quite frankly, uncomfortable position. But if you start to think from the perspective of, I'm going to live my retirement lifestyle while I'm working, then it's going to help you be able to transition a lot better. I make people look at me like my head is turned around backwards when I tell them I'm retired. They look at me, you're retired? As if it's a situation that's only attached to a specific age or a look or something like that. To which I explain to them without going into great detail about my own personal situation, yes, I'm retired. But I think that you think that retirement looks a specific type of way. And it doesn't. If you're waiting to get a certain age to retire, you're not looking for retirement. You're just looking to get older. I've worked with people of all different ages. Some people who were younger got into the business that I was working in, realized that there was other things that they wanted to do, and they left. And they went and did other things and created other businesses and became entrepreneurs and did all those things and had a lot of success. And I also work with people who work well into, you know, their seasoned years of their life and were still doing that even once I was gone. So once again, I just want to clear the myth of thinking that retirement is a specific age. Now, I understand it. You know, most people, they get involved with a job and it's about longevity, right? How long can you do that job? How long can you, you know, move forward? I need 25 years of service in certain situations, maybe 60 years of age, 55 years of age, depending on when you started, all of those different things. But the reality of it is, is to me, it shapes and conditions your mind to miss out on the main thing that you need to be focusing on. How soon can I get financially stable enough to be able to leave this environment and be able to live a sustainable lifestyle? That's the main thing. So I just wanted to make this video to make it abundantly clear to anybody, once again, who's considering retirement, recently retired, or think that they are light years away. The answer to all of those things is, is simple. Start preparing your mindset to believe that you're ready to retire right now. 
If you don't want to leave this year, next year, five years from now, I am not telling anybody to quit a job, walk away, or not do any of those things. You have to be realistic with what you have in front of you. But the reality of it is, is at the end of the day, I just want you to be crystal clear. Don't work thinking that it's just going to happen and all of a sudden one day, bing, the lights are going to go on and all of a sudden now you're in a position to just retire. If you want to retire and live the life that you want to live, why postpone it? Why push it off? Anybody who gets up and goes to work every day deserves an opportunity to be able to see what that looks like when they don't longer have to do it. So once again, for my young, for my old, for my middle age, for my people who are recently retired, thinking about it, just started their jobs, any of those people, all of this stuff applies to you exactly the same way. Retirement is not an age. Retirement is a lifestyle. You should always consistently be thinking about what is it that I love to do with this life? Because that's what life is really and truly all about. So once again, wherever you are in your career, wherever you are in your journey, always remember that the objective in life is to always look on how to be able to get to the point where my life is comfortable, sustainable, and I'm in a position to be able to live the life that I want to live. But just understand, that decision needs to be yours all the time. Don't ever sit back and think that it's just going to happen because of the fact that you're going to get a certain age. Always move forward. Always keep doing what you need to do. And I'm telling you, you will reap the benefits and the rewards a lot sooner than you think. Hey, man, that was just my opinion about the situation. Hopefully, you know, you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you found some value in it. If you did, do me one favor. Please, smash the like button for me. Share this. You know, this helps with the algorithm. Obviously, YouTube pushes this out to more people. And it's just me and my perspective on the whole thing dealing with retirement as a young man still with a whole lot of life to live and happy and thrilled to be able to do it. Take care of yourself and be good. All right, family. Peace.